All right, the review is finally here. It took a while. I didn't watch Beyond Devo during the time it was airing. I was too busy watching Vincenzo and other TV shows. But anyway, I have to say this. If you like Flowers of Evil because of its thriller, suspense, and mystery, you are definitely going to like Beyond Devo. Beyond Devo is a 16 episode psychological thriller, suspense, murder mystery type of genre. This review will be spoiler free, so for those who have not watched the drama yet, don't worry, you're safe. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the characters. I'm only going to talk about two of the main characters because the storyline does center around them. We have Lee dong -shik and Han ju -wan. First we have Lee dong -shik. he's a detective at the Manyang police substation. He knows the ins and outs of the law. Now Han ju -wan, he is a young detective who gets transferred to the same police station as Dong Shi. Also, he has a secret of his own. Now think about it. We have a veteran detective who knows the ins and outs of the law, and we have another detective who has his own secret. So it makes you think, are they the good guys or the bad guys? Oh, I didn't want to forget. Both characters, they do not like each other. There are times where things may seem okay between both characters and then it would make you think oh okay so now these two characters are basically going to like each other as the episodes go on but then later on mm -mm, it's not okay so the main plot of the story is simply just a murder case and it's the same murder case that happened 20 years prior involving dong Shik's sister now you're probably thinking oh it takes 16 episodes to solve one murder case now that may be the case but the story does have some twists you're going to be put in a position where you're going to come up with theories. You're going to guess what you think is going to happen. Now, some of the times it may come true, but then out of nowhere, bam, it hits you with a twist. Now, I did say that this review is spoiler free and it is. But the only thing I'm going to say to you about the story is you are going to be mind blown. Now the story, like I said before, does center around two of the main characters, which I mentioned before. But that does not mean that all of the other characters are not important. Mm -mm. Every character in this drama are important. They all have a time to shine. Every character has a place to be. Every character has a role and their roles are justified. And every character has a motive to be a criminal. If I'm hyping the story and the drama so much, that's because I am. This is the type of drama that you do not want to skip over. If you're craving for another thriller, suspense, murder mystery, psychological thriller and whatnot, this is the type for you. And this is a slow burning type of drama, meaning that, yeah, it's going to drag a bit. Yeah, you're going to have patience, but all of that is going to be worth it. Alright, so my impression on the drama, I was amazed, I was mind blown, it made me have second thoughts, every episode had me on the edge of my seat, and that's pretty hard to come by. Even if you're watching any other type of suspense, thriller, uh, murder mystery type of genre, not every episode is going to have you on the edge of your seat, and they're going to have some moments, but for Beyond Evil, every e episode definitely had me on the edge of my seat. Now, this drama did drag a bit. But this drama is also a slow burning type of drama so you gotta have patience and I will say this, patience is key and it is worth it. The acting between Shin Ha Kyun and Yo Jin Gu were just amazing. You can see the chemistry between both actors and seeing their acting just really bounce off one another was just simply amazing. That's the best way that I could put it. Amazing. And to end this review I'm just gonna say one line from the drama. The guilty should be the ones who get punished. And for those who've seen the drama already, you guys know what I'm talking about. And yeah, that's the review. I hope you guys like my review for Beyond Devo. And I hope I've sort of convinced you to watch the drama if you haven't watched it already. And if I convinced you to watch the drama again, hey, kudos for me and have a good time re-watching it. Other than that, if you guys like this review, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.